Good morning. This is your morning news brief on Spectrum, live from Uyo. I am Yaani Khan. We begin with President Mohamed Buhari as he has summoned the service chiefs to an emergency security meeting today, hours after the presidential brigade guards came under attack by terrorists. The senior special assistant to the president and media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, confirmed this during an, a televised interview. Meanwhile, following the recent heightened insecurity across the country, the National Youth Service Corps is asking the Nigerian Army to deploy additional personnel to NYSE orientation camps in the country. The chairman, NYSE National Governing Board, Fatima Abubakar, made the call when the board paid a curtsy call on the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya in Abuja. In the meantime, Nigeria Army has found and rescued two women who were part of the female students abducted by Boko Haram terrorists from government girls' secondary school in Chibok, Borono State, more than eight years ago. In a statement, the army said troops of 202 battalion during clearance operations on July 25th intercepted four abducted women, including the two girls who are currently in a military medical facility. In another development, United States has committed $55 million for food security relief for Nigerians. A statement by the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria explained that the donation was part of President Joe Biden's recent pledge at the G7 Leaders Summit in Germany, aimed at protecting the most vulnerable nations from an escalating global food crisis. In education, Trade Union Congress of Nigeria has urged the federal government to resolve all lingering issues with the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, without further delay. In a statement in Abuja, TUC President Festus Osifo urged the government to engage ASU in constructive negotiations to find a lasting solution to their demand. On the foreign scene, French President Emmanuel Macron has visited Benin Republic eight months after France returned 26 works of art seized by colonial soldiers in the Republic in 1892. Reports of other looted artworks remain in France and traditional leaders and government authorities in Benin Republic are hopeful that the return of the 26 is only the beginning of a process of restitution. Finally, Sports Manchester United have confirmed the £56.7 million signing of Ajax defender Lisandro Martinez on a five-year contract. United have paid a guaranteed £48.3 million for the Argentina international with an additional £8.4 million in add-ons agreed between the two clubs. We'll have details of the stories and more in our news at 12. I am Uyai Anyeken. We head back now to the Rise and Shine crew. Please stay with us.